Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. And thank you for joining me. This is evening prayer for Sunday, November 25th. It's the 27th Sunday after Pentecost and week 7 in the Psalm Cycle. And it's the last week of the church year. Today and for the remainder of this week, we celebrate Christ the King. The scripture for this service, Psalm 145, Zechariah chapter 9, verse 9 to 16, and a canticle from 1 Samuel chapter 2, verses 1 through 10. And now join me in singing the third and fourth verses of Crown Him with Many Crowns. Crown him the Lord of life, who triumphed o'er the grave, and rose victorious in the strife for those who came to save. His glories now we sing, who died and rose on high, who died eternal life to bring, and lives that death may die. Crown him the Lord of lords, who over all does reign, who once on earth incarnate word for ransom sinners slain. Now lives in realms of light, where saints with angels sing their songs before him day and night, their God, Redeemer, King. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. I exalt you, my God, my ruler, and I bless your name forever and ever. Alleluia. Psalm 145. And please recite it with me. I exalt you, my God, my ruler, and I bless your name forever and ever. Every day I bless you, and I praise your name forever and and ever. Great are you, my God, and greatly to be praised, and your glory is awesome. One generation shall tell your works to the next, and declare your mighty deeds. I speak of the glorious honor of your majesty, and of your wondrous works. And peoples shall speak of your terrible acts, and I will declare your greatness. They shall publish the memory of your great goodness, and shall sing of your righteousness. You are gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger, and of great loving kindness. You are good to all, and your tender mercies are over all your works. All your works shall praise you, and your saints shall bless you. They shall speak of the glory of your reign, and talk of your power, to make known to the people your mighty acts, and the glory of your strength. Your dominion is an everlasting dominion, and your strength endures from one generation to the next. You uphold all that fall and raise all that are bowed down. The eyes of the people wait upon you, and you give them their food in due season. You open your hand and sate the desire of every living thing. You are righteous in all your ways and holy in all your works. You are close to all that call upon you, to all that call upon you in truth. You will fulfill the desires of those who fear you. You hear their cry and save them. You preserve all who love you, but all the wicked will you destroy. My mouth shall speak your praise. Let all flesh bless your holy name forever and ever. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, I exalt you, my God, my ruler, and I bless your name forever and ever. Alleluia. A reading from the prophet Zechariah, chapter 9, beginning at verse 9. Rejoice greatly, O daughter Zion. Shout aloud, O daughter Jerusalem. Lo, your king comes to you, triumphant and victorious is he humble and riding on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a donkey. He will cut off the chariot from Ephraim, 
and the war horse from Jerusalem, and the battle bow shall be cut off, and he shall command peace to the nations, and his dominion shall be from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. As for you also, because of the blood of my covenant with you, I will set your prisoners free from the waterless pit. Return to your stronghold, O prisoners of hope. Today I declare that I will restore to you double. For I have bent Judah as my bow, I have made Ephraim its arrow. I will arouse your sons, O Zion, against your sons, O Greece, and wield you like a warrior's sword. And then Yahweh will appear over them, and his arrow go forth like lightning. Yahweh God will sound the trumpet and march forth in the whirlwinds of the south. Yahweh of hosts will protect them, and they shall devour and tread down the slingers. They shall drink their blood like wine, and be full like a bowl, drenched like the corners of the altar. Oh, on that day, Yahweh their God will save them. For they are the flock of his people, for like the jewels of a crown, they shall shine on his land. Here ends the lesson. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Alleluia! Uh, my heart rejoices in God Most High, and my strength is exalted in God my Savior. Alleluia! Hannah's Prayer. And please recite it with me. Alleluia! My heart rejoices in God Most High. My strength is exalted in God my Savior. You alone are holy. There is no God besides you. There is no rock like our God. Brag no more and stop your arrogant talk. For the Most High is a God of knowledge, and by God actions are weighed. The bows of the mighty are broken, and they that stumbled are girded with strength. They that were full have hired out themselves for bread, and they that were hungry are fat with spoil. The barren has borne seven, and she that has many children is forlorn. O God, you kill and you bring to life. You bring down to the grave and you raise up. You make the poor and you make the rich. You bring down and you exalt. You raise the poor out of the dust and lift the beggar from the dunghill to set them among the leaders and to make them inherit the throne of glory. For the pillars of the earth are yours and you have set the world upon them. You will guard the feet of your saints and the wicked shall be silent in darkness for by strength alone shall no one prevail. Your adversaries shall be broken to pieces. Out of heaven you shall thunder upon them. You shall judge the ends of the earth and exalt the strength of your anointed. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.